Hello dear viewers, welcome back to the Odoo 18 tutorials by Cybrosis. Today we are diving into a crucial aspect of procurement which is managing purchase order approvals. In Odoo 18, you can streamline this process and ensure compliance with your organization's policies. Let's get started. First of all, let's go to the purchase module and navigate directly into the configuration and from there choose the settings. So here in the purchase configuration settings, you have this option which is called purchase order approval. So simply enable this and then after enabling this, you have to save it. Now, in a brief, I can see what purchase order approval is. So this is basically you set a minimum amount as limit and whenever an order comes above the limit, then it requires the approval of the manager. Okay, so the limit can be mentioned over here. Here the limit is 5000. You can simply change it to whatever your amount is. Okay, so whenever an order comes with the um like with the minimum amount above 2000, that means you will require the approval of the manager. Okay, so save it. As you all know, this page or this account has been logged in as the admin. Okay, so uh, make sure once you download it, make sure you save it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out as Michelle admin and then I'm going to log in as Mark Demo. So he's a normal user for purchase. So to make sure that you can go to the general settings and see, I'll show you that one as well. Okay. So now let's go to the purchase module here. Okay. So here's the purchase module. As a user, Mark Demo can actually create an RFQ. Okay. So here I'm simply clicking on new choosing a vendor so let this person be the vendor and all certain you know details which is required can be specified here and then I'm adding a product okay so I'm adding a caustic block screen so to quantity confirming it and you have to be sure about the amount over here okay so the unit price I'm giving it as 2000 2000 is the unit price so here I'm taking two quantities which means 4000 is the price okay so after all these things, what I'm going to do, this is currently in RFQ, I'm going to confirm the order. Okay, so the order has been confirmed, but it is not yet a purchase order. What it shows is to approve. Why has that come? It has come like that because the total amount is 4000 and we have set the limit as 2000. So whichever request for quotation comes with the amount above the limit. Okay, what happens is that the manager has to approve it. So currently this is in to approve state. Okay, so just remember the reference number, which is 38, P38, okay? So I'm just logging out as Michelle Edmund, I mean, Mark Demo, and let's log in as Michelle Edmund. Okay, so I have logged in over here, and then let's try to open the purchase module. Okay. So here you can see 38, the one which is created by Mark Demo. And if you take a look at the status, it is to approve. Open that and you can see it's in to approve state. Only if you approve the order, what happens? This will turn out to a purchase order. So I am approving the order. Okay, so you can see this is right now a purchase order. Now, if you go to this, you know, mark demos page and check this will be in purchase order itself because it's approved right now so if you want to check i'll show you and from here you can actually complete the procedure by receiving the products and so on so before going to mark demos account i'll simply go to the general settings and there you have this users and companies right so simply choose the users and here you have mark demo so open that person okay and then the access rights, if you go in the inventory, you can see purchase, he's a user only. Okay, so before logging in, switching the accounts, you have to make sure which, you know, account or which user has what kind of access in different um, uh, accounts. So here in the purchase module, this person is a user and that's the reason why that person cannot approve it. Okay, so that's what I was talking about. Now let's log out and go to Mark Demo and see how it looks like over there. Okay, I've specified the password. Okay, now let's open the purchase module. So this is the purchase module. Open it. And if you just take a look, this has turned to a purchase order. Okay. 
So by effectively managing the purchase order approvals in Odoo 18, you can ensure compliance, you know, reduce errors and optimize your procurement process. So I hope you got an idea about how the purchase order approval works and I hope that's clear for you all. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.